Hello, this is Jared from Commit to Quality. In today's video, we're going to show you how you can download and read the contents of a file using Cypress. So before we jump into it, we're going to be using this as our practice page where you can go directly to this commit quality forward slash practice file download, or you can go via practice option here and scroll down to file download and it'll take you to the same place. Now, all this is going to do is click in the download file is going to download a test file for us. And it's just going to have a paragraph inside it called something like this is a dummy file, which we're going to read from. So you'll see that in a little bit. So what I want to do is I want to jump right into Cypress. And the first thing we want to do is inside our test, we actually want to visit the page. Let's say site.visit. Uh, let's take this URL. Next, then, we want to do what we've done in all of our other tests. We want to click the button. So I can say sci.get, let's just say get me a button. And let's just say it contains the text to make sure it is that one. And it's called download file. So it contains text of download file. And what we want to do then is perform our action, which is going to be a simple click. And at this point, then what should happen is when we run this test, this should actually click the download file button and we should see a new downloads folder appear inside our Cypress project. And inside that we'll have that dummy text file. Now I'll perform an assertion a little bit later on in the video. Let's just actually run this and see if what I've said is working as expected. So let's go to example side.js. And there we are, we can see it went to the page, click the download file button and Cypress now knows, oh, right, this is actually downloaded a file. So it's copied it and you can see it's copied it into the directory. So if I actually go back here, you can now see there's a downloads folder and inside here you have a, this is a dummy file.txt. And then what we can do is we can perform the side.read method, which will allow us to read the contents of the file. So in our case, we could say side.read file. This is where we'll pass to the location. So what I can do is I can right click here, say copy relative path, let's paste it in here. We want to escape these. So let's say forward slash forward slash. So that's all good. And we want to perform the assertion. So let's say just for now let's say should should exist let's save that go back to our cypress playground and you can see now the assertion has passed as well say an expected this is a dummy file text to exist now of course if you want to read in the file and say i expect the content to equals that's just a simple change this assertion to an equals and then we can say copy the text from dummy file save that run it again and here we are, we can see expected this is a dummy text file to equal this is a dummy text file. So it's easy as that to download and read text files in Cypress. As always, if you do have any questions or comments, please drop them down below. A like and subscribe is appreciated. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.